What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Mark. Am I still the chosen one? you goddamn right. You're goddamn right. I haven't been on here in a minute. I've been working a lot of... I've been doing a lot of things. It is Thanksgiving today. I'm uploading on Thanksgiving. I want to give thanks to everything in my life. I want to give thanks to everyone around me. I want to give thanks to you guys uh, for supporting me. Uh, throughout my YouTube career or the beginning of it uh, and all my bills and all that stuff so I want to give thanks I want to give thanks to uh, health and happiness and my family and, and, and all that stuff so you guys should be doing the same thing speaking of giving thanks I've been, I have been working on a lot of stuff I got a lot of surprises like crazy crazy shit like in the next couple weeks you gotta move in silence sometimes and just kinda you just kinda gotta do your own thing so but uh for the foreseeable future, I think I'm just back now for like weekly stuff. So I will show you guys. I'm over here at Enticed, obviously, if you guys couldn't tell already. I wanna give you guys some updates on the GTR. I, the, the problem with my last video of the GTR, I said the next time you guys see it, it's gonna be complete. And I've been, there's been a lot of delays throughout the process, so I kinda, I've been waiting for that completion day. Uh, but I just can't wait any longer and uh, I don't think you guys really care about waiting either. So I might as well show you guys major updates on the car. It is almost done, but there's some other things that I still need to do. I wanna just kind of dive into it, show you guys the updates, what we've done and what there still needs to be done. So you guys can kind of see my vision of my favorite R34 engine bay or that it's gonna be. So let's take a look at it. I did get another set of LMs or like another two. I always had four. I'm gonna rock LMs on all four sides just cause I think it's just gonna look better uh, for the build for now. So uh, that's gonna go on the car. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the update. There's a lot of shit to look at. There's a lot of shit to unpack here. Um, we can just go over every single one. Obviously, it's looking super fucking sick. Um, you'll notice, I don't know if you'll notice right away, that's probably, that's probably where your eyes are going, but uh, the car is V-cam already, HKS V-cam, step one. Uh, the valve covers are painted, uh, silica brass. That's what all the, the NUR engines come in. This is a brand new valve cover. I painted this like silver brushed kinda to match all the other brush look. It was pretty sick. I got the HKS trigger kit already as well. It just needs to be wired up. I got a brand new fan. I got these new zinc um, uh, brackets. I got all titanium hardware from Dress Up Bolts. They have a titanium hardware kit here. So shout outs to them. It's like a whole engine bay kit. It's all titanium hardware. Um, custom catch can and overflow. Uh, combo. Uh, this was made by Enticed. Uh, I love their work, so it's perfect. They made it fit exactly right there. Uh, obviously, I got the ARC cap. ARC intercoolers on the new one. Uh, then you're going to notice... Did I mention I got a new fan? Anyway, got a new fan. You're going to notice the beautiful Nismo intake manifold that is completely shaved. Shaved. And we shaved it, we're able to shave it because I have the Dotone Racing drive-by wire system, so I still get to keep my ITBs, but um, but it, it looks like a super, super clean setup, which is exactly what I was going for. It's, it's fucking, look at it, it's fucking badass. Everything's connected too. Uh, then I went with a Radium fuel rail. Um, it's just more updated. I have a HKS one coming. I kind of wanted to stay all JDM, but yeah, Radium's fuel pressure regulator and their their fuel rail is just more modern and, and up to date, so we just decided to go with that. Uh, I forgot what company this is, but they make, and I, I posted this last time, but they make a billet cover for the uh, ignition harness, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the injector harness. Super sick, it just looks nice and clean, so we got that. Um, the new alternator's in as well, so that's clean, that's a little bit of red there, John, you know, some red there, some red here, some red there. Obviously, you're gonna fucking notice the, the single turbo, the HKS GT34R with the ARC box. 
and John literally just finished welding this up. Look at these sick ass welds. I wanted the intake to go directly into the box with the silver vibrant clamps all the way around. So uh, what you'll notice is like the, the intake manifolds brushed and cleared. The throttle bodies are all also brushed and cleared. I don't know if you can tell, this is a very minor thing, but I also, I also brushed clear the throttle bodies. Uh, and then I brush cleared the turbo uh, because when we were putting it on, uh, I, I wanted to have that all done. Now, uh, when he's finished welding this, I'm gonna take the pipe, the ARC box, the catch can, and the intercooler piping, and I'm gonna brush clear those so it all matches. It's gonna be all brush clear. That's kind of like the style that I'm going for, for, for this uh, engine bay. So I think it's gonna look sick. But this is super dope. It's gonna look fucking badass. I wanted an intake for this car just because I wanted to rock the ARC and I have a feeling the the, the turbo surge is going to be a little bit louder by having a, a an intake pipe. So I don't know, I just wanted to try something different on this build. Usually I just let the turbo just open, but this one I kind of want to go with that. I know you guys are looking at this power steering reservoir, but it's just an easy line. We're just going to redo the line and just tuck it down there. So that's not going to be a problem. Um, the fan kind of is like an eyesore to me a little bit. I do have a brand new OEM um, fan shroud. Problem is it doesn't fit on this ARC radiator. So I'm probably gonna cut it and make the top part fit just so it kind of blocks away this fan here. So probably gonna do something like that. We still have the lines here that we need to make going at an angle here like this. This way, both of them, it's basically gonna just tuck in through here and out that way. So that's gonna get taken care of that. Um, I don't really know what else I got other than like brand new clips back there. I'm gonna steam clean the whole engine base so it just looks super clean. Remember we still have the ARC strut bar that's gonna go over there. Um, and then we have this the radium fuel filter too over here that's gonna go there. But yeah guys, this is, I, I had to show you, <laughs> I had to show you guys what's been going on uh, with the build and kind of how it looks. Um, this is roughly what it's gonna look like. I could peel the tape off and just get a really nice picture, but I wanna do that when the car is completely done. We're, we're only talking like a week left, like actual week. So by this time, a week from today or a week from Thanksgiving or when I'm gonna post this, this car will be fully done and then uh, you know on the way to get tuned. So um, that, that's kind of where we're at with the timeline. But uh, it looks amazing. Tell me what you guys think. I know it's been a minute since I've posted, but now that I'm kind of back from stepping away from doing what I really had to do just to make sure that it went well, um, and you guys will see in the upcoming weeks that um, uh, now that I'm back, I don't really have any other distractions to close out the rest of the year. So I'm just gonna be focusing on this car, finishing the car and uh, driving it, enjoying it, making content. Uh, for all you guys and just really enjoying this fucking car to be honest uh, so I'm super super stoked about it um, tell me what you guys think honestly like so far this is like a, a kind of kind of the same style I'm, I, I go with a lot of my builds but doing something different I haven't seen any 34 guys like do it like this uh, they all go like super OEM plus um, or they'll do like some some other style, but this is kind of something that I've seen that I haven't really seen yet. Unique, um, at least <clears throat> at least with this drive-by wire kit and the Nismo manifold, the single turbo setup with the ARC box. I haven't really seen it done like this. Uh, so hopefully, I'm inspiring a lot of the 34s next year that come in to do some crazy shit like this, just to make it super show quality and clean. Again, the power that I'm going for this car is not much. I'm going for like 550, 600. It's really, I'm not really looking to have like a crazy thousand horsepower or 700, 750. Uh, th that's not what I'm going for for this car. It's got 411 gears, short gears, you know, 550, 600, I think is perfect for this car, in my opinion. I had the HKS 2.8 and the Midnight Purple 2 with 411s and that shit just fucking ripped and it was fun, but it's, um, I gotta do something different. I gotta do something So th this is it, but yeah guys, tell me what you guys think. Uh, honestly, uh, there's not much from here, to be honest. From here, uh, I need to brush, uh, brush clear the piping, the box, and the catch can and stuff like that. That's it. 
so everything's done. <laughs> everything's done after that. Then we're gonna then we're gonna install the Motec and uh, put a, a base tune on it so we can start the car, check for leaks and stuff like that. Then it's gonna go on for tuning, and then the car's fucking done, you guys. So well, I still have the interior to do, but I have all the interior parts already. It's just a matter of like taking it out and putting it in. I'll show you guys when we get to the interior. Uh, but yeah, we'll go from there, guys. Um, it's gonna be back, honestly. It's gonna be back. I uh, hope you guys uh, love the direction I'm going with. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a comment, tell me exactly what you guys think. Uh, you can say fuck you, Mark, for not uh, 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 you know, showing us sooner, but uh, I have my reasons and you guys will see why. But until then, if you guys can, hit that subscribe button for your boy. I'm gonna need that, I'm gonna really appreciate it. And I can't wait to catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.